in this video I'm going to be specifically making it for my M104 classes at IUK. I'm going to be doing two examples here of solving compound inequalities. They are going to be AND examples uh, versus the OR type of compound inequalities. These are going to be um, problems that you would encounter in section 4-2. Alright, so I've uh, picked these two examples specifically because the problem looks different. Alright, on this example right here, you specifically see the word AND in it, so you know it's an AND problem. Alright, this is what a compound AND inequality looks like. You know, you could have anything here in the middle, anything over here, and anything over here as well. This one is a relatively simple one, okay? But it can be written in this format and does not have to have the word AND in it for it to be a compound inequality involving AND. Okay, so basically on this one, it's straightforward. This is a two-step inequality. This is a two-step inequality as well. So you're going to do the algebra and solve this just like you always have. So we're going to subtract 2 from both sides of the equation. We're going to have a 3x is greater than a negative 6. Going ahead and dividing by that 3, we'll have x is greater than negative 2. All right, I'm going to go ahead and write the word and down here again so we will remember that that's there. All right, up here on this inequality, we'll go ahead and solve it. We'll add 1 to both sides of the equation. So then I'll have a 2x is less than 6. Going ahead and dividing by 2, we'll have x is less than 3. All right, now if you are in a high school class, um, you might possibly be allowed, especially in an Algebra 1 class, you might be allowed to leave your answer just like that. All right, however, all right, Algebra 2, College Algebra classes like that, you should be able to take this and actually write it into a compound inequality. Um, all compound inequalities have x in the middle and either use less than or less than or equal to um, symbols. So for this one, if you kind of go through it and think about it, x is greater than negative 2 and x is less than 3. So negative 2 less than x is less than 3. It, x is going to be in the middle of this. So x is less than 3 x is less than 3, x is greater than negative 2, so greater than negative 2. Alright, so this is the compound inequality written in that format. And if you were going to then use interval notation, alright, these are both uh, less than symbols, which means that negative 2 and 3 are not going to be part of the solution. So I'm going to have curvy bracket, negative 2 to 3 curvy bracket. So this is your solution in interval notation. Alright, let's go ahead and write interval notation under there. Okay, so different ways to put your answer depending on, excuse me, depending on what class you are in. Okay, so now, now on this one here, all right, this one does not have the word and in it. It's already written in this form of a compound inequality. So we can just start solving it. Obviously, we need to solve for x. x is in the middle of this inequality. All right, so what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to do inverse operations just like I always have. I've got a plus 1 here that I don't want in the middle. All right, so I'm going to subtract 1 from it to get rid of it. Now, whatever I do to the middle, I also have to do this section over here. I also have to do it to this section over here. Okay, so those two ones are going to cross out, which is what we want to happen. All right, now let's go ahead and simplify here. I'm going to have a negative 4. The less than sign stays. The only thing left in the middle at this point is a 2x less than or equal to, and going ahead and putting these two together, I get a 2 over here. Now, I've not yet solved this inequality because I still have a 2 in front of the x there. So I've got to get rid of that. Well, it's 2 times x, so opposite of multiplying by 2 would be dividing by 2. So we're going to divide by 2. Whatever I do to this center section, I also have to do to the right. I also have to do to the left. All right, the twos are going to cross out there. That's going to get me down to a plain x in the middle, which is what we want. All right, less than or equal to, going ahead and dividing that, I get a 1. Going ahead and dividing this, I get a negative 2. All right, so there is the compound inequality just from algebraically working it out. All right, and again, if I want to put it in interval notation, I have a less than sign here, which means the negative 2 is not going to be included. I have a less than or equal to sign on the 1, which means 1 will be included. So curvy bracket, negative 2 to 1 with a square bracket. All right, so there's my solution there in interval notation. 
All right, so um, actually just two real quick examples there of how to work out um, compound inequalities that are your AND type of examples. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.